other switch on your cams i find the man with the strategy Something is missing in Ketna's face. What is that? Ketna, you're feeling sleepy. No, ma'am. No. Smile is coming after five minutes. It's still uh, feeling like weekend, right? Because of the climate or what? Or you people have completed a very good test. More than two to three has been completed. So the, still, uh, the mood is getting safe. Okay, what game we can play today? Ankita, Manoj. Manoj, you can tell what game we can play. Manoj, are you there or you're also traveling? Is there no? Are they there? Could you turn on your cam? I'm traveling. Travel. Okay. Neha, are you there? Yes, ma'am. You reached your home right now? Yes, ma'am. I need some five to ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anurin and Nagala, are you there in the call? Student, please turn on your cams. We'll start with the session. See, Noreen, are you there in the call? Are you traveling? Noreen? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Are you there? Yeah, could you switch uh, on yes, your cam? Yeah, Noreen and uh, oh, another one, Nagila. Nagila, you also. Nagila Nitish Sai, are you there in the call first? 
yeah switch on your cam What about Nagala? Do you need some time? Let me know whatever. Post in the chat box if you need time. Because we'll start with an activity and we'll move into the class. Hi, Teja Suno. What's your full name? I'm Pulse Eddie Teja, ma'am. Okay, got it. Good. And uh, yeah, could you all turn on your cameras? Okay, fine. Pulse Eddie Teja, Seema, Sonia, Manoj. Turn on your cams, everyone. We'll start the session. Fast, fast. I have to start the session. Yeah, whoever traveling. Sundar Nagala is fine. Rest all. No, no. Teja, you also turn on your camera. Let's start. By saying turn on camera itself, I'm getting tired. See, make it fast, no? Deepti, Manoj. Hi, Teja. How are you? Fine, ma'am. Fine. Okay. After saying fine, don't leave. Just be in the session. Till it ends. Okay. When I ask names, switching on and... I'll give you one minute only. 7.13. Till that, within that, switch on your cams. Otherwise, absent for everyone. Can I see your faces? 10 minutes? Oh, yeah. Visible. Yeah, Manish is there. That's what Manish, I'm not asking you. Only your face is there. Deep is traveling. Okay. Hi, Shima. Hello. Hello. I think uh, here after we can have some song singings, some very active things, so that we will be awake. That th I think that is a great idea. Anybody who is a great singer, come forward. Otherwise, I'll let them sing some songs. Switch on your camps. I'll, I'll switch on first. You better do. More than kids, we are behaving nowadays. I will do. You will do. It's like that. My camera is visible, no? Let me be the initiator. I one minute gone. Oh yeah, one minute. Who needs absent? Yeah, don't give thumbs up. Fast, make it fast. The climate is very good. Don't let me to sleep. Switch on your cameras, everyone. Keep it up. Where you're going? Teja, the uh, okay. Whoever traveling, rest all. Sonia, Teja, and Sonia. Okay. Who else? Because in today's session, we'll have the continuation, correct? So I want to ask answers. I mean, I have to get answers from your side as well. Because today is a very important part in work readiness. So you people let me know. 7.14. Let me see some disturbance. OK, fine, Kitana. Let me see at 7.20 how many phases I can see over. I'll share the screen. but. More than taking session, I need your insights as well. Like you people have to share some answers with me. Teja, are you there in the call? Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, turn on your camera and be in switch on till end. Rest all traveling, please be switch on. Because I'll ask questions. I'm working. What? Okay. Okay, fine. While attending an interview, we itself know what things to be how just hold. Okay, I hope you can see in the slide as well. Do's and don'ts. Uh, in the sense, what can be done? In that situation, what to be acted perfect? Do's. Consider like you're going for an interview. What things will happen? What is required? If you're entering in a bus, we need a ticket. For train as well, the same. For going interview, we need some ID card, whatever. But resume is very important. So we, are, we have to make sure more than having the resume, whether resume is apt or not for the particular interview, first of all. What we should not do, do not add uh, incorrect information. For example, you might know Java. You do not know Python. Even if you uh, know basics, so you can add, OK, Python basics, I know. But if you don't know something, you should not add. You should not lie in your resume. That's what the point is in insisting. Do not add irrelevant. Do not lie in your resume. Second thing. Accept the job of opportunity only after consulting with others. For example, you might get a job. There is a poster, 10 lakh for a Java developer. OK, you don't know the company that is like a startup one or some medium company, but you don't know whether it is a incorporated one or not. Incorporated in the sense, it should be registered some way. Many companies are here, startups, but some people are like making it fake. So you should analyze and recognize the background as well, whether this is incorporated, whether this is registered or not. Each and every details you should check. Then sometimes uh, as a college student, as a what, as a fresher, I don't have much knowledge. So what I'll do, definitely I'll ask my friends. This is a company I've got. Uh, or you can consult with your parents. Uh, they are asking money or uh, this is the thing which they are expecting from my side. They are, they are asking me to relocate. These are the things which sound so simple, but make sure we are taking a decision where everybody accepts that. Getting me? So these are the simple things you have to take in note. Monitoring other job opportunities. I mean, mentioning it, uh, for example, lack of interest in the role. Make sure for a Java developer, what are the keywords is important. You should, uh, be, because we uh, we discussed all these things in the previous classes itself. Do's and don't do's while attending the interview in the sense, whether you have to check the company is good or not, whether it is incorporated or not. Don't do in the sense, you should not take a blank decision, blindly going and accepting the offers. That is not going to work out, which will waste your time and other times as well. So make sure you're taking the correct decision when attending an interview, taking the resume correctly, discussing with others. Uh, one incident happened even uh, in my place, actually, not for me, for my friends. Ten uh, uh, fellows got selected in a company. OK, uh, they asked. That is a consultancy. They asked each and every one 5,000. OK, 5,000 money they have to pay. Uh, because due to a consultancy, everybody got paid with that. Later, what happened after one week, everybody called for an interview. When they went and uh, saw the location, there is nothing there except the bushes. It was a plain ground. Okay. There is no company like that. They 5,000 got cheated. But the people who spoke in the call were like very expertized. They spoke like they are the owners of the company. So make sure whoever calling to you, the numbers are like what registered. Uh, are they true? Do they have a LinkedIn profile? 
do they have a branch go and check it before attending or before or what fixing it up these are the things we should check must it, it, these are must we cannot avoid it so make sure before attending an in, attending an interview you should check all these things don't just say for as yes, for everything and everything if they send some document don't don't just sign it blankly and share it ask someone what is the line which is given consider with someone discuss with others then give okay for everything and yeah some of the examples like uh, during job interview how you can show your award how you can impress someone at the first impression first thing um, whenever they are asking for your resume to be shared make sure it should be in a pdf format for example name uh, underscore pdf or you can say java developer dot pdf that will create a very good impression many of will forget in the hurry bury while sending the resume make sure it is to be done second thing turning up on time may be punctual sometimes natural disasters will happen we don't know what hindrances will come in between but being punctual is another one advantage to impress the interviewer third one research this also we have mentioned uh, discussed uh, earlier itself researching in the sense through linkedin through google through ambition box whatever the reviews they have given just read it out uh, whatever research you can make through newspapers new, uh, through social medias like facebook and stuff try to gather more details you can impress them in that way try to tell all the good news about the company i have seen this you have very well good projects and uh, i want to work in particularly this project try to convince in that manner you have this much uh, what employees i have seen the statistics as well try to make sure the data like, uh, what tell them the statistic data as well usage of appropriate language this may sound very simple appropriate language but i'll say you one thing wherever you go make sure your communication is polite even you know everything don't say that i know very well uh, i'll say more than this whatever you said is right i'll also share some part the attitude more than the uh, communication your body language will speak a lot and your attitude will speak a lot make sure you are making it polite don't uh, make any misunderstanding if you don't understand anything ask the interviewer he, he or she will explain but don't self assume anything so make sure your language is very appropriate answer call from unknown numbers even some of my friends will say like uh, whenever i get an unknown number they will not attend or pick it up make sure if you are getting a uh, calls from uh, new numbers try to attend it sometimes we'll get from foreign numbers one two unless and until they are they are your friends don't pick it up just make sure it's a indian number we are having 91 then attend the call checking your emails twice daily not only twice if you have if you have to be active if you have to show your uh, interest towards the company checking mails uh, 10 times a day will help you a lot check because we we have a work lot of works we know but make sure you are not forgetting anything whenever we can get mails like we should respond before they say sir i have sent you a resume you better talk to them yeah i have received the resume uh, or receive the mail thank you for that you say like that ensuring your phone is on silent during the interview you can make sure it is silent unless and until that is an emergency call sometimes our parents will call emergency things can happen at that time we cannot avoid right uh, we should make what is priority first or otherwise tell your parents or your closest ones i'm going to attend an interview don't disturb me for particular time else leave a message okay or for example consider you are accepting a uh, job offer what are the things to be considered in the uh, letter like what are the things to be mentioned what we have to check keenly uh, four things are there uh, the format and the words format in the sense how the job offer sh uh, should be uh, what uh design accordingly we have to check that the mistakes in the communication whether they are doing some mistakes and third one is details all the details like your job your salary what is the shift timings and whatever they have uh, said these are things will work out you are going to work out these things only after joining the job make sure whatever spoke has been written in the mail they will say after you coming here you can work any time they may say whatever in the call but make sure everything is written in a uh, what detailed format otherwise nothing is going to like we cannot able to speak up so make sure everything is in the written format that is the proof for everything and uh, yeah let us check off can you able to see this slide students uh, yeah 
switch on your cams. I want to see now. I want to see each and everyone now. Switch on your cams. Okay. Yeah. Switch it on. Only two. Now we have seen right offer letter. In offer letter, what is what are the things to be there? First we will discuss. Then we'll go with this slide. What are the things to be there? Even I'll share my experience when I was being a fresher. What kind of things I've seen and I got shocked. I'll say that also. So tell me. Share in the chat box the answers. Question. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. The question is, when you're getting a job offer letter through the through email, what are the things we have to check? Like. What else to be there? Like uh, apart from the details, apart from the job package, okay. What else? Sundar, so Sheikh, Bond. Yeah, if it is a bond, it has, it has to be mentioned. Teja, you also share your answers as well. Deepti, Manoj, Pratik, share your answers. No. Roles and responsibilities. What else you need? Like what else you'll expect? Apart from the bond, apart from the things like what you'll expect. I have asked a lot of questions when I gave the job. Is that mail came from company? Okay. Is that, uh, yeah, Ankita, that is a good point. Whether that is a mail where we have got this from the company or not, salary, insurance, okay, joining date, brief details about company. Okay. What else apart from this? Let me share the screen. We'll take a look now. Terms and condition. Good, Ankita. That is also a good point. Teja, share your answers. Whoever not giving answer, try to share it. Are you there in the call, Teja? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, share your answers. What you expect in a job offer letter? Share it. Let me share my screen. If it is right or wrong, no issues. Just share it, whatever you think. Information numbers of leaves. Yeah, Manvita, you have got a nice point. We'll check the leave. I'll ask whether it is a paid leave or a privileged leave. What kind of leave? How many leaves I can have per month? Familiar with the email? It's a junk. Okay, good. Work from home. Okay, good. Managers also shared some good points. Okay, what it is written here? Starting date, a reporting structure. Reporting structure in the sense there is a format which to be followed. From the company, some greetings for what is the what is the work actually with them and with us, like uh, sharing the offer letter, right? So they'll uh, say with the greetings, like I'm sharing the offer letter with you. We are very overwhelmed. We are so happy. Likewise, all the words. Then Coming to the paragraph, like a uh, job description for this job you have selected, this is a salary and uh, lease or whatever, what are the benefits, everything will be included in the paragraph itself. And they will close it. You can ask, what is the wondering thing, like what we can ponder about? For example, it is just a simple offer letter. You have noticed in some offer letters, they, there would have been some mistakes. Sometimes they will copy and paste the words. While copying and pasting, we won't get any bulletin points. We'll get the uh, something which will be oval in shape, like a rounded bullet points will be there. You can easily check who are doing like that and who are like fake. Some errors will be there. Some mistakes will be there. They don't know even how to make it the enter space or not, like making it to the next line. People don't know. Continuously, the word will be there. The format alignment will not be good. Easily, we can find out whether it is fake or not. 
grammar mistakes will be there a lot they don't know where to put subject they don't, uh, they don't know where to put the job description and the responsibilities and salary without any alignment without any proper structure that will be consistent so make sure while reading the offer letter each and every words they have to share it in a polite manner in a correct a structured format compulsory components like company logo we have missed it up title and location annual salary starting uh, starting date and joining date uh, signature of the head whoever is sharing you the offer letter from that company who is the hr head they will have it they are sign as well duties they will share probation period yeah to be frank a probation period is very important they will share as a fresher how long you are going to work which is the what confirmation time uh, what is the notice period in between and after between the probation period how many leaves you can get after the probation period how many leaves these are the uh, slight differences you can uh, see it when you are getting the offer letters and uh, maybe sometimes uh, companies will demand money when you are living in between the project you have to pay some money so make sure you are checking each and everything line by line even if you miss one word that will be a um, that will turn on you itself so make sure you are reading it carefully and signing it up compensations vacation hours these are these will come under leave incentives that depends upon the job acceptance or see uh, many students will not follow this for example you are getting a offer letter right you can thank them sir i have received a uh, job letter i thank you a lot uh, i feel very happy to receive uh, from such companies you can share it professionally so if you are rejecting it if you don't want to take it up sorry sir i was uh, joining another company so as of now current uh, uh, due to some uh, current situations I'm, i cannot able to join but we will we will be in touch for the further you can let me know after 6 month or, or for second job i may consider you make sure you are not leaving the touch if the, if you don't have uh, if you don't want to get any benefit from the company you can directly say sorry sir i i got 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 an another job so i'll just uh, what uh, sorry to write this i'll be not in touch with the company i'm just uh, uh, you you should not uh, reject it directly i'm rejecting this sorry sir i'm getting another job indirectly say it. that is what called polite communication instead of saying no say sorry i cannot able to make it right now there is a only slight differences in the words what you use but it will make a huge difference okay best practices in the sense for example consider like you are having a hr contact hr contact in the sense maybe that is a vp or head whomever you are having the uh, email related with that offer letter make so make sure uh, sometimes instead of sending a thank you mail you can send them a personalized mail personalized mail means for example consider like shima is the hr of the company head hr head i'm writing a letter to shima shima you have effort for this job due to your uh, support i have got got this job or due to your uh, smooth process of interviewing i have got this job i'm writing a letter shima will feel very happy i mean as a hr she will feel very happy okay this student has something uh, what uh, hidden inside like she, how how she is like what thanking us so they will feel like they will get a good impression they will feel very good so likewise you can send a personalized mail make sure it is professional hey dear i am so happy to share this mail like because you should not talk i'm so happy make sure that is professional i'm so happy i'm delighted likewise professional words you can use and uh, terms and conditions in essence also if you want to make a recheck again this is a salary this is a role make sure sir you have given this salary this role i have a cross check starting date of employment you can add these things starting date your role your name your mail id what are the informations are required you make sure you are having it in your thanking mail now i'm going to ask questions now please read it now you people say what can be done read it and students are traveling right okay fine anushka a final year bsc student plans to take up a job and build a professional career one day she receives an offer letter in her inbox uh, she does she does not recall applying uh, for the company but i definitely uploaded her resume on a job portal she is thrilled at receiving a job offer of 7 lakh per annum but she has to pay compulsory fees of 7000 
for the specialized training. Her role is not clearly mentioned in the job description, but she happily accepts the offer. Now, the question is to you. What do you think Anushka's decision now? Like, what decisions she have to make? What she can make? Switch on your cameras and answer. Are you all there? Post it in chat box. She should report as it's a spam. Okay. Good, Ankita. Others? We should have rechecked and verified because it uh, wanted 7,000. Okay, we can recheck. Anyhow, pain is not good, but we can recheck with it. Okay, others? Only two can answer for this question. This is the easiest question, so try to answer. Okay, I'll come to you. Just give me a second, I'll share. Okay, asking for more details. Certified or not, then make a decision. Okay, any other answers? Career planning, not blindly accept your offer. Okay. Do you think giving 7,000 can be worth enough? I'm getting only less answer. At last, anyhow, I'll ask each and everyone. So be ready with your answers for this question. OK. Uh, this is very important. We can discuss red flag. What kind of things should be awarded in the, like, uh, what we can award? Like, what do what we check? As we have said, uh, I told, you know, in a job offer, there is a, a word 5 lakh, 10 lakh. For a fresher, there is a. Uh, there is a stop stop in the sense there is a limit this is a salary five lakh four lakh something it depends on the company getting an uh, giving a high salary or providing a high range value but make sure if you're getting a high salary as a fresher without any benefits you should check it simple errors grammatical mistakes copying copying and pasting you can easily find it out payment demand seven thousand five thousand they will ask and sometimes they'll say government job, aviation job. So make sure while you are receiving email, just block it if it is spam. Just block and I mean report and make it in spam. Then finally, a mismatch of skills. For example, consider like you are applying for a Java developer, but it is not related with Java developer. They are saying, sometimes even in the call, you can guess it. So this is a job where you can come and attend. You are asking, sir, I'm looking for only developer job. What the interview will say, no? In the opening side. So you first come and attend the interview. Likewise, please don't make it. Once you're confirmed with the details, then go there. They will say, just you come and attend every, we, we have every roles. Don't waste your time. Just ask them whether their role is there or not. Otherwise, cut the call. If they are making it like so dragged or elongated, just don't believe them. They are not having such type of roles. Just to make you to get a walk in or to add the numbers they are asked, they will do it. What to do when they're asking money for initial test? Test in the sense? No. Whenever someone asks money, you should not even what consider that. It's a very bad habit because whenever someone asks money, that is like totally prohibited. There are some cases also running. They should not ask money. Even it, it applies for consultancy expert. Even if it is 500, 100 rupees, you should not pay it. Uh, some, sometimes like uh, some consultancy will be like good. A uh, consultancy in the sense like uh, they will be like high range. Some of the media co medium co consultancies are there. You should check the consultancy and you can work it out. From my side, if it is for paying, just please avoid it. You don't know what will happen. Maybe they are true. Maybe they are, they are a good consultancy. But if they are from a fake department, if they are fake people, by using that consultancy, they are asking you money, everything will be vanished away. So don't pay for any companies. That that will be like what? It will be a waste of time. Then you will, uh, what? You will stand at last and 
it, it will be it will turn to you itself it will turn against towards you so make sure you are not paying for any job if they ask for fees or test and all that is not going to work out they are fake you can directly reject those companies for interview they uh, sometimes they are passed all the rounds and they are asking money for uh, that's what i told no it, dep it, it depends upon the uh, companies sometimes the uh, consultancies will ask sir you have to give three months salary you have to give one month salary if you have joined in a job you can do like that but make sure even for consultancies also you are going to talk with the company uh, if they are not ready to talk with the company or to interact with them make sure it is a backdoor process you can think easily okay this is a job mnc job i want to join 50000 just one lakh okay i'm going to settle in my life if they find it out from the mnc they'll blacklist your profile i have heard lots of stories college placement the college trusted them sometimes you have to pass all around you no know, for offer letter no one will ask money it's it's a fake just avoid it even for placement also placement department should take care because we should not provide any money because uh, we are going for a job right why we have to pay money for example sometimes uh, people will ask that that will be startup startup in the sense they are reward uh, they are growing up in the company uh, what asked what they have asked manish could you explain the situation i'll tell uh, they asked to pay like 5000 uh, within a week for offer letter uh, it was company <laughs> from pune ma Okay, five thousand. Why for offer letter? You have attended all the rounds, right? Yeah. You have got selected, but what is the reason to ask five thousand? Did you ask them back? Uh, no, ma'am. I rejected. You should have. Nice. <laughs> okay, that is a good decision. What you have done? Maybe they'll ask for uh, uh, whether, for example, you are joining in a company, right? Sometimes people will what leave without even informing. So some companies will say. we are going to have this particular amount with us later when you resign we will share it but better make sure you are not paying any money for the things that will be like cover um there may any things happen like uh, they will not return you that we are not sure we are not signing any bond for the 5000 or whatever the money don't pay money because whenever they ask like that will be for their use only that that won't come to us so make sure it is like uh, you uh, just throw it on a well or in a ocean your money will go like that so make sure don't pay any money for the job if you apply in portals in online portals if you apply through the courses at internship definitely you will get a job don't depend on the money if you are paying and if you are going inside for some time some period of time you can retain after that if your profile got blacklisted that is not only for that company your profile will be spread everywhere consider like one candidate is paying the money and not even paying the money he just joined in a job but he didn't tell he just left the job without anything or like that profile got shortlisted in a knocky shortlisted in the sense blacklisted shortlisted then blacklisted process it, it, the profile was in the name like it got selected but after that no details from the student it uh, blacklisted in the sense they'll spread it everywhere there will be a black mark so make sure you're processing the gen your reward following the genuine process in the company say the reason and leave before joining check the details are true or not don't pay money these are the simple things we have to follow and names and sign have to be there uh, i as i have told no hr head what uh, who is the uh, head of the department i mean hr department they have to sign it maybe vice president maybe hr head whomever make sure the sign is there company logo and also their uh, logo marks will be there sometimes if you can find in some company of a letters as well as fake emails fake emails you can easily find it out some colorful things will be there the logos will be having a lot colors mail id will be in numbers we don't know whether it is a name or not make sure it is from tcs it is from cab gemini or from any company uh, x name whatever uh, consider like that is uh, ratan ankita or at, you can use the names at gmail.com or dot hcl at gmail.com it will be very uh, what it will be very open the email you can uh, easily check it out that is from the company only because they will follow a process their company names have to be there if i am from tnsif my name will be there my company name will, company name will also be there even they won't follow but you you can cross verify once if you want to take a note please take a note i'll just stop this payment you have to check uh, grammar errors name and sign format and uh, salary high high salary you have to check it out maybe you you can attract it you will be attracted by seeing high range salaries 
but make sure it is birth for a fresher or not what is the fresher salary range check it when to be alarmed alarmed in the sense when you have to be careful uh fees as you are told no paying the fees in advance free gmail account in the sense free email account in the sense like uh, consider like uh, they have a particular names about hcl about cts sometimes people will change the email names from cts there are many departments working from tj there are lots of departments people have different types of email even i can have nandini at tjs.com or tjs.gmail.com like but that is not going to work out make sure that is correct or not check it cross verify a lot with the emails grammar and spelling mistake google search information does not match okay sometimes if you go and find a linkedin the profiles will be there for mncs that will be followed they should have a linkedin profile check in linkedin profile check their hr profile in nokri or wherever you can search just check it and make sure they are very genuine or not then go ahead work from home is there or not sometimes work from home only will be uh, given depends on the situation if you are from uh, a long distance if you are from a different country or different place they'll give you work from home unless and until they won't give you so make sure for what they are giving work from home check it well fake websites they will give and sometimes the company even don't exist as i have shared you a story right there is no company there is no buildings in there like but they will they are calling for the interview everybody came and got cheated make sure you are just uh, share, uh, asking the google location try to ask google location ask some of your friends who are near they near the company ask them to check then you go personal information don't give aadhar card pan card bank account unless and until the company is true don't give these details ask a lot why we have to give this detail if the reason is genuine you can share but after joining the company only you should share all these things like any interview process sometimes even in i have seen uh, for attending an interview in infosys itself we have to what or uh, show the aadhar card they won't ask the aadhar card number but for a verification but cross verify once to share all these things these are the cases like people used to get uh, even uh, i have a story one second let me share any how one of my friend told uh, uh, he, he uh, actually is mutual friend for a government job they got demanded 50 lakhs for the same student but later only they uh, came to know that the person who had to get the government job actually there is no job opening there is no such a job like that 50 lakhs gone wasted now that family is paying emi and loan for that to what uh, pay off for that uh, particular amount 50 lakhs so make sure before giving money that is genuine or not don't give money i i will suggest that giving money does not going to work out anymore that will be a loss from our side so make sure don't give even 1 rupee also and yeah there is a, there are lot cases are arriving nowadays uh, we will give the course just pay 20000 or 30000 we will share you the certificate don't do all those things make sure you are doing it in a straightforward manner just follow the genuine rules don't fall for the short traps a uh, legal bond directly we can ask the hr for example uh, sometimes people will not say what is a bond indirectly they will try to throw the bonds on me so make sure why we are have to have why we have to have the bond whether this bond is there in the company or not or only for uh, uh, me or putting or, or it is a rule for all the freshers in the company you can ask the same question if i break the bond what is the cost if i continue or maybe i will have personal reasons with me uh, if i have to join in a job or if i have a marriage i will have a lot reasons so whether i have to break the bond will you give certificate these questions you have to ask must should i have to pay any amount or you will pay me any amount many questions are there legal bond yeah you can ask directly the, with the hr itself nobody cannot answer that question unless the hr shall we play a game are you all clear with the uh, things like what to be checked with the offer letter is very important topic maybe sound simple try to convey to your friends your known people don't fall for the short traps for is asking money just don't give it don't give money for anything even i said no once i was uh, what ready to pay 8000 for a job uh, as a fresher not even i was a college passed out but it was two months like uh, to uh, end up with the college they asked me 8000 to join cts but actually they are they are also consultancy but they should not ask money uh when i was checking with the company they asked me 8000 because they have shared the job status just they have shared the job status with me 
it's a random post i just asked them whether it is a true or not manish this is the case i directly asked them they told you yeah, are you pay 8000 will get you the job even if i have updated directly i would have not uh, been in such kind of uh, scenarios just because of asking they asked me like okay this is a girl who is like we can get lot of money she don't know anything so don't ask anyone they ask the company directly they will tell you i mean go with the customer care or go with the helpline of the company they will say you you can share the screenshot of the job offers then uh, assume whether it is correct or not and try to what cross verify in the calls so are you all clear how to check with the job descriptions or the fake whatever shall we play a game you people switch on your cam i want to see your face i am seeing my own face switch on your cams Which on the camp students? Shall I take attendance? Very good. We didn't even see anyone's faces today, but the activity is very important. Well, tomorrow, because everyone, especially when the breakout rooms, and it is you people. Shall we do the task tomorrow? Because uh, in Hari Bari we don't want to do the task. Let us switch on the cams. Let us make it. We will see our body language, our attitude, our communication, polite or not. I also forgot to mention you sometimes. uh i hear uh, like with the students nowadays generation students are like uh, what more uh, uh, like in communication wise they are like not having the patience with them make sure your people are very polite with each and every one that may be an executive that may be an ceo make sure your communication is polite for example a simple statement i will see when i'm sharing when i'm asking you a question have you done the task like you can say uh, i don't know you send the task are you getting me your mindset is different your tone is different your feeling is different when you are conveying it to someone the whole thing will be changed why this person is rude if people can able to i can understand how the feeling will be for a college student how they will uh, convey in such kind of emotions i i know it very well but interviews does not know all these things directly rejected so make sure you are conveying in a polite manner 
if you are having a doubt whether my communication is polite or not use the words could please sorry these three things don't want to ask even sorry also just make sure you are asking could could you please send the work or could you able to share this make sure you are using some polite words why i am insisting because polite communication is very much important even you are a top or top talented person you are a very expertized in particular work if your communication is not good no where it is going to work out make sure you are having a good and polite communication that's what i'm checking with each and every task your communication is okay it is getting conveyed till now there is no problem just i'm insisting clear everyone will you all follow the polite communication we don't want to be polite always sometimes there will be an interview check whether they'll be checking our patience make sure you are not leaving any words follow the polite communication let me take the attendance any doubts in today's classes please raise your hand i'll take uh, take it and i'll move with the attendance any doubts you have even if you have if you get it uh, what after ending with session you please ask me any doubts let me know have you faced any situation or are you having any doubt let me know i'll clear it now regarding with the job any doubts please raise your hands i'll take the attendance Please, Santi, three, be ready. Manish, I'll say even now itself. I'll take the attendance if I have time. I'll say it now. Uh, this is a very easiest question, and uh, where you can get the job, and where you cannot able to get the job. Two things. So uh, for this question, you have to answer in a diplomatic way. It should be very clever. You should be a what? Salary savvy, to be frank. If they ask you with, uh, whether do you expect a uh, what salary? First, research about the company. Whether some uh, consider like they are having ten lakh salary. You are a fresher. 10 lakh is not only for fresher maybe 2 to 4 years of i mean 0 to 2 years of experience two year experience can get 10 lakh if you are very much high talented talented in the sense not only in the skills but in the communication you if you have negotiation skills like bargaining or whatever if you can able to convince them definitely 10 lakh is for yours you should prove them sir if you give me 10 lakh i'll do justice for that work uh, you can get all the skills because i am worth to pay for it because i'm i'm giving all the work and i'm uh, what i'm utilizing the skills here in the company you are getting benefited with the work whatever i do i can compete with a two years experience to sir like course you should train their mind train their mind in the sense you should convince them your work for 10 lakh salary they will ask if 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 you are not going to give you what uh, will, will you reject this offer sir i can negotiate but this is my level if they ask a question related with your salary Don't say a uh, five lakh to six lakh, seven lakh to eight lakh. Don't have a doubt with yourself. Seven lakh stand with seven lakh. Research about the company and you know if it is a branded company, definitely they have to pay you well. You can say that. So make sure you prove it with, with your skills. Don't low down. For example, there is a ten lakh only. You can ask for ten lakh. You if you ask for fifteen lakh, they will say thank you. That's it. And they'll just say shukri and they 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 they'll just send off you. so make sure you are not asking more than that sometimes there will be diplomatic games happens if the salary is 10 lakh you can ask sir i need 10 lakh 50000 they will ask why 50000 no sir i have to get some uh, what uh, additional hand uh, additional salary in my hand in my hand salary should be good so ask 11 lakh maybe they will come for 10 like why some tactics will play, uh, work here they will say you know just uh, uh, while borrowing they'll say you no know, don't ask for 1000 ask for 2000 we will give you 1000 likewise you can play a game here 
but make sure these are tactics which you should follow carefully it depends on the company change your uh, negotiations i'll share tomorrow many points with that akit present ma'am ankita aarti deepak रक्षित रतन रितेश रतन आयुदेव रितेश या ओके अम्मा सीमा कृष्णा शेख कृष्णा साईनाथ सोहेल ओके फाइन B sixty six, B ready. Could B sixty six please raise your hands? Let me mark it. 